We have now seen that the Hilbert transform, which is a pi half phase shifter, can be used to write just the right side or left side of our original message. So we want to transmit just the upper sideband or the lower sideband. So we have gone through this process of finding m plus and m minus definitions that include this Hilbert transform idea. So the right side, the m plus, can be rewritten in the baseband as this combination of the message plus the Hilbert transform message. Likewise, the m minus left side in the baseband can be rewritten as the message and the Hilbert transformed message. So combined, we have the left side and the right side. Both can be rewritten using the Hilbert transform. And this is important because we're going to modulate our message. So we're going to modulate our message up to the plus and minus FC, and we're going to transmit just the upper sideband or the lower sideband. In this photo, we've removed the lower sidebands so that we're transmitting just a single sideband, which is the upper sideband. Now, we can see that our upper sidebands include M+, plus, which has been shifted to F minus FC, and M minus, which has been shifted to F plus FC. And we know what the definition of M minus and M plus is now. So we have these baseband definitions here, and we've modulated it so that they're out at plus and minus FC. So our next step is to figure out how to go from these baseband's rewrite them at the modulated plus and minus FC, and see how we can use the Hilbert transform to eliminate those lower sidebands so that we can transmit just a single sideband, which will be a more efficient version of amplitude modulation. So for the upper sideband, we're going to have this definition for the upper sideband in frequency domain. It's going to involve M plus and M minus. Now, if we then substitute, right? So if we take this M plus, we can see we have M plus, and we're going to put in to here, we're going to put F minus F. So we're going to F minus FC is going to go in here, and it's also going to go in here. And right, so on this, this side, we have replaced F with F minus FC. And likewise, we've replaced these with F plus FC. So now we have a definition of the a modulated message, which is written in terms of this Hilbert transform. Now we can continue to rewrite this so that we can understand it a little bit better. So first we're going to move all of the Hilbert transform components to the right side, and all of the normal message that has not undergone any phase shifting to the left side. Then we're going to pull out this J component of the Hilbert transform messages and put it in the front. Now we are going to use our knowledge of the imaginary number, and we're going to rewrite this J half as 1 over 2J with a negative sign out front. So now that we have a definition for the upper sideband only, so this is a single sideband that can, includes the upper sideband only. It has components of the message that have been shifted, and it contains components of the Hilbert transform message that have been shifted. So now that we know the frequency domain definition, let's think about what the time domain definition is. The reason that we want to think about the time domain definition for this is that it's going to be easier to think about how to build a Hilbert transform pi half phase shifter if we think in terms of the time domain. So let's apply the frequency shifting property to our frequency domain upper sideband. And if we do this, we will get this time domain signal. How did we get here? Well, we saw that these F minus FC components, these are going to involve a E to the positive J at your frequency. And if you have the frequency domain where you have replaced it with F plus F naught, you're going to get this minus term. So we can see that the F minus terms have turned into this E to the J term, and the F plus terms have turned into these E to the J minus, minus J terms. Now, 
we should notice that because we have all of these e to the j terms, some of them are e to the j and some of them are e to the minus j, and we also have these one half and one half j terms, that we can rewrite this. We can use the uh, our Euler definition knowledge to turn these into sines and cosines. So rewriting this, we can see that these, this part is going to turn into a cosine, and this part is going to turn into a sine. And this should start to make sense because, right, we remember that our Hilbert transform is a pi half phase shift, and the sine is pi half phase shifted from cosine. So the upper sideband only can be rewritten in terms of the message being modulated with a cosine wave and a Hilbert transformed message, a phase shifted message being modulated with a phase shifted cosine. And the same situation stands for the lower sidebands as well. Combining them, we can rewrite this as a general definition for the single sideband, which is the message, the modulated message, and the the phase shifted modulated message. In the next video, we're going to see how to build a system that creates a single sideband only modulation.